Hello and welcome everybody. This is Yanniman bringing you another Fleet Ops audio commentary. Tonight we have a 2v2, a Cam K and Klingon versus Sanity Lost and Crisis. So everyone is jumping on the bandwagon to get their game started. Uh, we are playing on map Centauri Epsilon 1v1, or uh, version 1.1. It's four player maps, don't worry. Uh, those four players will actually all get to play in this game. Uh, starting off at the top uh, right hand corner, uh, Cam K is the Orange Federation here. Uh, his teammate for this matchup is as the Yellow Klingons. Klingon. Um, I've watched Klingon play in a number of games, and it is really, really messes with my head when uh, he is not Klingon. Um, you know, it's okay, you know, you can imagine that. Uh, down here, as the Red Dominion, this is Sanity Lost, and his teammate for the match is as the Blue Borg, this is Crisis. So, um, we can see a little bit of scouting going on here by Klingon. Uh, this is good, you know, keep your scouts and cloak and, you know, next to whatever the heck the other person is doing. Good move. Um, you can see these folks are setting up the the normal setup going on here. Conduction matrix, no surprise there, I believe. Nine times out of ten, this is going to be an optimized. There's the defensive value avatar thing. Yep. And the minion over here are likely um, pure tech. Actually, whoa, hello. Uh, surprise, surprise, that's a Breen cruiser there. So this is Breen. So we're looking at Breen Dominion here. Uh, up here on the top, let's see if we can see if the Fetties are doing uh, anything that tells us what they are. Um, you can see the Federation doing a normal Starfleet engineering, followed very, very shortly by the Atari's Yard. Um, you can see that he sets up the engineering first and the mining as the second first thing he does, followed by setting up the Antares Yard. Uh, the reason that any Fed player does this is the amount of time... They're going to skip sabers, basically, and so the amount of time that it takes to build the engineering and process the Chesky Level 1 research, uh, that timing allows you to build your Antares Yard. And you can see that right here. Um, over here in Klingon's Klingon base, uh, we can see, hello, a field research going up. Oh, hello, folks. Um, this Klingon player is going for, uh, anyone want to bet a, a an advanced yard, a yard early, an early um, middle yard, whatever the heck that thing is called. That's what my bet is here. Either that or we're expecting uh, cavorts. Forts would be nice against the Dominion, but a little bit more difficult against the Borg. Uh, the reasons for that is just the Borg just have got, like a big hole value. Um, still waiting to see down here on the Borg side of things, see what he goes. Oh, you see a couple probes here. You can see uh, slightly forward-facing uh, uplink here. Skew, no surprise there. The question will be on um, what sort of skew this is. You can see that Klingon knows exactly what's going on here. Um, one of the things that uh, a lot of players will do is they will take their scout and they will follow this uh, assembly node wherever it goes. And the reason they do that is because uh, some Borg players are sneaky, sneaky. You like to put that guy over in a corner, like way down over here. And so you get uplinks in very odd positions that are out of the way can be sort of forward-facing star, uh, star yards, if you will. See the blue and the red have... So the red, this is Sanity Loss, expanding. I believe this is his second yard. Yep. So he is going S2 spam out the wazoo. Um, we'll see if he's going to throw an S2 spam here. Um, expecting that any second now. You can see that he's got a little short on the dilithium. Has interestingly enough, put some Tritanium up here. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's on purpose, maybe that's just an area that he can optimize his build order, or, you know, maybe he's just, you know, lollygagging along. So, no real excitement quite just yet, but, nonetheless, uh, Crisis trying to generate uh, a little bit of Crisis here as we see his adapted torpedo uh, cube coming up down here looking to move its way up into the expansion of Klingon and yes there's that battle yard 
sitting on no resources to build anything out of it. Let's see, cavorts. Ah, there we go. Not unexpected there. Cavorts queued up in the queue. So, Crisis here. Looks like he's just sort of uh, preventing the secondary expansion into this area here. Which would allow for... Let's see. What is, how does this map organize here? You see uh, a normal tritanium, dilithium, a double... It's, it's, uh, interesting. The This area is actually this area's natural expansion. So uh, it does appear a tad further away. Way, but you know, I could that just could be me. So, the detector trying to get a little sneaky, getting chased off by a Brel. This Brel is going to meet its maker if it stays here very long, mainly because the Brel is such a fragile little ship. Uh, even with 30 crew, this this guy could totally beam aboard it and grab himself a Brel. Looks like they're trying to kill it, um, and they are going to get a kill. So, Crisis with the first kill of the game, more than likely, and it looks like he's actually going to be able to waltz in here and uh, just take on everything he wants. And this is not looking good for Klingon. Uh, luckily, however, he has grabbed his cavort with its a little bit more durability and put it through the repair yard. So, at this point, it's almost worth... Uh, Popping all of your miners here to burn these guys away. Otherwise, you're going to end up losing all of them. Between the Cavort and this uh, chore, we're looking at uh, not a lot of firepower. Over here on the, the top left-hand side, you can see that uh, the Reds are pressuring on the to the Feds. Looks like with varying degrees of success. And this prototype is uh, in a little bit of a bind. The feds are setting up a platform here, going to be able to defend their position quite nicely. Um, and so the feds actually in a pretty decent position here. They're not going to lose anything from any of these guys. So these S2s are a good counter against these monsoons. These monsoons don't have any sort of um, natural defense against the short range. And these guys are, well, interestingly enough, um, these are sort of, or, op, well, let's see, hmm, actually the Monsoons do gr would, if you're looking at the passives, would do great against these S2s because they're defensive, uh, they're negative, uh, they're only minus 10 versus this guy's minus 24, so these Monsoons actually do a nice counter against these Escorts, these S2s that is. Um, and it does appear that they are st starting the mass. And I wish I knew the cost of these monsoons off the top of my head, because you can get a real cost benefit of just getting cheaper ships that are actually a better counter. So the Dominion not able to get any kills, whereas the Borg here look like they are still trying to get a little bit of... Um, get a little bit of game on and they are going to have to work for it. Finally the Borg are going to go after these miners, at least get some kills out of this stuff. Uh, you know you're not going to be able to take on these offensive ships. And it looks like they are taking enough damage that they... or okay, actually what it looks like the Borg are doing is they're trying to draw away some of these ships to get them um, away from this repair yard where they can just like endless, endlessly cycle. And we are looking at a Takroja Charg class. Now, where is that special? You'd expect Klingon to put a special on, allow him to get that combat tractor beam. That combat tractor beam is a nice, nice little thing which allows you to get kills. Basically, it says, I have enough firepower, you can't run away, get kills, you can sort of, um, you can just get wins that way. So, we've got the Federation stocking up on monsoons. And it looks like heavily, heavily investing in monsoons. Whereas the Dominion over here 
uh, sanity is going heavy into S2s. The question is, who of these guys is going to win here? Um, both of these ships are a little bit fragile. 2, 4, 6, 7 versus 2, 4, 5. Let's see how 7 versus 5 stacks up. Uh, no one's got any special here. Anyone who picks up a special would probably be in a really good position to uh, do some nasty damage. The only thing here, this guy is sitting on a 18 defense versus the Monsoons. 21 defense, actually, so... 27 offense, though, versus the Monsoons. Very light, 14, so... It, all, it, it does give the Dominion here a little bit of an upper hand. They have the offensive upper hand, and I think that is going to outweigh its defensive... Um, deficit. So the Borg not feeling at all restless have decided that they are going to come on in here and try to beat down on Klingon. Klingon still having to cycle through his ships. Oh! A uh, Klingon ship getting uh, its engines barred up. Wow! How did Klingon get that lucky? He uh, Managed to get a ship in, but is he going to get his other one in? Woo, somehow the the boar got a nice lucky hit on one of the vessels. Uh, it's going to walk away with a nice little victory there against that cavort. Those kills are going to eventually, eventually stack up as long as the boar doesn't lose this cube. So, cavorts all over this guy, this charg not going to take any damage basically from the uh, from the Borg while in the repair queue and this cavort flirting with death against the Borg fleet here so strategy wise it feels like both of these guys are playing these simple one on one games uh, finally Sandy Loss coming down with the Borg player trying to get a good push here and it's slightly not coordinated as much as it would be not it was it as you would expect, uh, we got a bunch of monsoons here, 2468, and they're going to make a push against the natural tritanium here. Actually, I'm sorry, that is not the natural try, that is the expansion try. The natural expansion. They're going to be able to waltz in here, and at this point, the blue and the red need to make a strong push into this expansion. Oh, but is this going to pull off Sanity? Sanity is. What is he doing? Sanity. Are you going to stick around? Are you going to... Or not? So, one of the things that uh, is a really great strategy is that if you can attack someone far across the map, you can kind of pull them off of their attack if they're attacking you. And we are about to see whether this is a good idea or not. These guys, again, going... Uh, has a deficit against some short range. These cavorts are short range. And it really feels like the left hand team is taking a big beating, a really strong beating as uh, this 1S2 gets in. But these monsoons are having a field day. Wow, Sanity and Crisis are now kind of back on their heels. Klingons, ooh, with a Kadooge out. You don't get, to, you know. You kind of see these Kadoos make their appearance every now and again, uh, but sometimes you just wish that you could see a lot more of them. That's just my personal opinion. Um, some of... I'm sorry, what the heck? Is this Klingon? Klingon has been given... Oh, um, it looks like Cam K gave a, a bunch of ships over to Klingon just to give him a little extra uh, defensive power. And uh, so, yeah, so that's where a couple of monsoons came in. Oh, and I see that the monsoons have their special. That's going to be nice and pretty. However, where I thought Cam K was making a heck of a dent in and doing an excellent job of burning down some of these S2s. Um, oh, wow. Sanity Loss peeling out something on the edge of death. And these monsoons are slowly taking the losses, that uh, offense of the Dominion here is really paying off for Sanity, and uh, Sanity getting some very, very nice kills. This is not over yet, folks. 
these guys are <laughs> these guys are nobody's going down without a fight, and uh, that means more fun for you folks. So we have a spear. Yes, spheres on the board. About in well, what is this? About 70 seconds here. Let's see if my memory serves me right. Hey, look at that. About 60. Good enough. Um, Crisis is about to take it to the next level. Let's see what the Let's see, another Kadooge coming out here. Why, well, you know, so the Klingons are not sporting anything that I that I feel would be a really good counter against that sphere. I think that sphere is going to be able to sort of make it a game changer, allow all of these little ships to be sort of their DPS uh, as this sphere comes in. We'll see what this sphere's um, module configuration is, whether it's a straight region or if it's DPS or it's a beam sphere. Um, I've seen some players doing some uh, interesting things lately and uh, with the sphere module configuration and uh, it makes for quite, it does spice things up a little bit. So, so who do you think's winning right now? So I'm looking at, it, it, it almost feels like um, the left team, uh, the blue and the red, have the superior forces. I'm doing like just a mental count here. I see a lot of ships on the, the board. Um, Camp K really, really is turtling up a little bit with his feds. I mean, you know, it's, he's a fed. That's his right. Um, he's got good old proxy torpedoes, and it looks like he can get some snipes here. Ah, oh, this feels like a couple patches ago when it was Monsoons versus uh, S2s. And let's see who's got the... who can get the kills. So, down... Okay, there goes a kill. One Monsoon, one S2. Um... And, oh, yep, two, two monsoons. So not a good trade, and that is going to hurt. So Camp K in a little bit of a pressured position, um, and his teammate, the Klingon, is in also a pressured position. However, a bunch of Klingon ships just lured the crap out of a uh, Borg fleet, and they are going to nasty, nasty take out a bunch of this crap. Uh, down goes a sphere. Uh, down goes a, I'm sorry, not a sphere, a, well, that'd be a great kill, but a skube. Down goes another skube. Um, any second now. And this platform is in perfect position. You see this mining station providing a little extra support on some of these ships that are getting, trying to get um, um, assimilated. Ooh, uh, Kadooj taking it taking a little bit too much fire, but it is going to manage to get in, and Klingon is going to walk away with uh, some nice damage dealt on these guys. If he can get this this dodecahedron kill, that would be fabulous uh, without losing any of this other stuff. Whoa, another... Uh, either a skew or a probe there. That's... That is... That is nice. Klingon doing a great job of fending off, actually luring the Borg into this. Hey, come into my undefended base area. I love Klingons when they play that sort of come at me and just, and yeah, just, just, just bring it, punk. So let's take a look at the feds. Is feds going to finally get into, really, really need to see a warp in something here. Um, you see the science vest, uh, science station. I still don't see uh, Starfleet Command. Uh, they are heavily, heavily going into monsoon. Cam K is going straight into monsoons. Um, at this point, it's going to have to be a lure tactic. These um, phaser platforms are going to have to do a lot of damage against this uh, S2 spam. Monsoons versus S2s, baby. Okay, so Dominion, Dominion, what are you thinking here? You're thinking you need supplies. Um, and you're a little bit hurting on the dilithium. So, actually, we we actually only see one supply station here. Almost expecting another supply. Oh, here is that other supply station. Two of them out here. Get a little bit of supply going on by um, Sanity here. And does Sanity want to tango with all of these monsoons? Unfortunately, Sanity is not going to take Cam's bait, and Cam is not going to get a kill there. Cam is also feeling a huge dilithium pinch. He is sitting on 100 there. Oh, guess what? Starfleet Command will be seeing that shortly. Cam also providing a little bit of support over here still with his constructor. 
And they are really just waiting on the Borg. They are sort of a lure tactic here. Let's see what the Borg are doing. Do I see a second sphere? Yes, we do. And is that a prime? And a... That is a prime. So, back a patch or two ago, the prime sphere would have been great against both of the Klingon races as that prime will eat the energy. However, the Klingons in 325 don't take energy for cloaking, uh, and so it is not as strong as a, um, a counter as it used to be. Not that it's anything wrong with it, it's just a tad uh, not, as, not as strong. The uh, combat tractor beam off of the Charg uh, the Prime Seal will, will actually come in handy there because it will drain the crap out of the energy. That combat tractor beam will be just cut in half. Um, and yes, that statistic is actually made up off the top of my head right now. So let's see if the Borg learned and expect a Klingon fleet here. Um, they are at least sporting two regen spheres here. You see here with the 30% hull regen gives it a straight full-on three regen. Now they just need to get a little bit of DPS in here, get some kills off of the board. They don't actually need to do anything. Ah, However, Crisis is going to end up losing a probe, and that is just a tad bit unnecessary. So going to have to make up for that. Uh, this char going to take a little bit of punishment, and let's see if... Yes, Borg, Crisis, getting those kills in. Um, making it, making his presence felt like a good old Borg is, and this Klingon... Uh, Klingon feeling just um, uh, just getting out in front just a tad bit too much. Here comes Sanity Loss providing that extra little bit of DPS that is just going to steamroll some of this. Uh, wow. Klingon is in a bit of a dire straits. Let's see where Cam K comes in. Cam K, where are you at, buddy? You need to be making your presence felt here. Um, that constructor just not going to do enough. These two phaser platforms doing a... Uh, doing dang near their best that they possibly can. Here comes that fed warp in. Uh, and can someone say pop some miners, please? Cam K down here taking um, a little bit of t incentive to go after this split fleet. You know, Sanity is split between both the top and the bottom, so Cam K going to take a little bit of advantage of that and try to DPS down a couple ships... However, losing two, ow, count them, two Excelsior 1s. Um, let's see, do they have a good old ally repair? No, not quite yet. Jesus. And the Borg are just kind of camping in their base with those spheres, soaking up whatever they can, throwing down the energy. Look at these spheres. They are uh, brimming full, plenty full of energy. So Cam K at least making a heck of a push on some of these... Uh, on this ex may oh whoa, hello that's the expansion here these guys are all over this can they get can they find s oh wow cam k just needs to pull down a little bit he is going to pass wow he's going to totally pass up this huge huge no he sees it he is going in for this crap oh dear lord um sanity loss is about to lose a little bit of sanity here off of his middle expansion, he is going to just rank up a bunch of monsoons. You can see that uh, the the spheres here are not able to press past the phaser platforms. Wow! So Cam K making a run on Sanity, and let's see what Sanity does here. Cam needs to. What is he doing? Cam, what are you doing, boy? You you got a ton of these guys. Need to go after these individual miners. Uh, but it looks like he's going to make a run on these spheres. Wow. So, back and forth. I can't I can't freaking keep up with who's winning here. The Borg feeling a tad bit exposed, you can tell, because you've got Sanity backing up some... backing up on the main base. What are they going... So here's the third sphere. Um... Cam K with a nice little fleet of monsoons, uh, surprisingly not very ranked up. I would, I, you would really hope that he would have taken on um, a couple more kills, gotten a little bit more experience out of those guys. Let's see sort of the difference in some of these guys. So you can see this 1524 versus the stock 
1421 so that ranking up is only a it, it it's only a little bit so got a couple spheres these guys are actually feeling quite frisky for borg and um they're just they're, they're feeling like uh they're owning the board really the left hand team has managed to take up the larger part of the the board and but cam is trying to reclaim that he needs to ignore this building uh some of these these early ships like the monsoon need to ignore buildings just almost like the plague go after any of these little bitty ships oh that was a wasted proximity torpedo uh but it does get the kill should have done it with maybe half of those and uh cam k making a nice little raid on this on two of those guys and has done an excellent job of pulling those borg spheres away from klingon so, uh, excellent. Like I was saying earlier, if you can attack and pull f and make things make things run across the board, anything that causes your opponent to spend minutes, seconds traveling um, is is time uh, well spent. You know, if they're traveling and not doing anything else, then they're they're wasting firepower. Um, however, Camp K has just invited a huge party into his expansion. Um, these phaser platforms are going to do some nasty damage. Let's see if he can get a couple kills off in this guy. This S2 getting all the way away. Uh, Camp, Q not at, Camp K not able to get a kill there. Is going to soon be able to get a kill off of one of these other guys, please. Uh, where is Klingon? Klingon needs to be uh, bringing up the rear here as it looks like... Uh, Sanity is getting away with a little bit of murder here as these monsoons are... Where are these monsoons going? They are trying to get kills and they are just wasting firepower traveling while you need to be killing stuff. Uh, these spheres soaking up some of this phaser platform stuff by the fact, just sheer fact that they're sitting next to it. Um, and Camp K is feeling a lot of pressure here. These uh, ships all need to kind of like sit back behind these phaser platforms and take whatever, take whatever sort of uh, damage uh, these phaser platforms do a, a heck better damage. Cam K commenting on the fact that his monsoons are stupid and that those monsoons are going to end up losing him his game. Um, this this San Francisco trying to get into that repair yard. Is it going to make it into it? No, it is not. Oh, and uh, the, hello, wow, Sanity able to get so many freaking ships back into the repair versus these monsoons that are not able to do anything as far as getting back into repair. It's almost like you're just throwing away. Uh, they are they are fragile ships here. And Cam K feeling a massive, massive loss trying to move into Intrepids. I don't know if he's going to be able to um, transition into that, though. These phaser platforms doing their darndest to get some kills. Um, oh, a nice little ambassador here giving, giving a little bit of extra strength into Cam K's fleet. Where are those Klingons? Klingon, where you at, buddy? Are you able... Oh, Klingon trying to take on a sphere with just only a few ships. Not a good... Not a good trade here. Oh, able to get a Kaduge out way, way uh, to down in its hole. That is almost perfect hole management, um, if not a little bit risky. Cam K. Oh, my God. Losing so many ships. But, dear Lord, is he able to hang on to his expansion. Um, Klingon trying to mount up some, some offense here going to lose ouch that is going to hurt oh down goes a vorcha and that will not be purdy uh, so we see some sayings let's see how many vorchas we got another vorcha coming out klingon wow hurting on supplies otherwise doing fabulous in the dilithium department Cam K also doing fabulous in the Dilithium department. Looks like uh, his expansions are really working out for him. He just needs to get that supply on, and a couple of those warp ends are actually hurting his supply. You can see the buying of supply there. Let's see if the Klingons are doing the buying of supply. Yep. Wow, hello. Did we just see an Imperial Yard here? Yes, we did. And and what? Wait, hold on. Imperial Research? are. Can Negvar someone, please? What? 
Um, however, the problem with that is that uh, Klingon is sporting a very small fleet at the moment, uh, trying to move into these Vorchas, and those Vorchas are not going to be able to provide enough speed, enough DPS at the moment, all by themselves, to counteract these spheres. These spheres are going to have a run on this main Tritanium. Luckily for... Luckily for Klingon, he's got a ton of resources. Why is he not spending those? Cam K feeling like a GG here. Wow, hello. Um, and quite frankly, I kind of agree with that with those Borgs are coming out. But um, wow, exciting game. Nice nice play by everyone. I want to thank Cam K, Klingon, Sanity, Loss, and Crisis for this uh, excellent game. I hope everyone liked it. Um, congrats to the blue and the red. Well, folks, this is Yanniman. I am signing off. Uh, we will see you in the next replay. Cheers, guys.